Welcome to Science with Susanna. This video is on sympathetic stimulation of the heart. This represents the brainstem and the spinal cord. Electrical signals, also known as action potentials, travel down the spinal cord. In the thoracic region of the spinal cord, sympathetic motor neurons project out from the spinal cord and synapse at the top of the right atrium of the heart in the sinoatrial node. Here's a close-up of this area, showing one of the cardiac pacemaker cells of the sinoatrial node. Sympathetic motor neurons release the neurotransmitter called norepinephrine, or NE, onto these specialized cells. Here's the close-up of the sympathetic motor neurons axon terminal, where it stores these neurotransmitters. When norepinephrine is released from this axon terminal, it diffuses across a synaptic cleft and binds to beta-1 adrenergic receptors on the pacemaker cells. This makes these cells fire more action potentials, which increases heart rate since the action potential spreads from cell to cell across the whole heart. Norepinephrine also binds to beta-1 adrenergic receptors on the contractile cardiac muscle cells throughout the heart. This results in these cells being flooded with calcium availability that helps them increase their force of contraction. Patients with congestive heart failure or high blood pressure can be prescribed beta blockers. These drugs block norepinephrine from properly binding to the cardiac cells. This results in a decrease in both heart rate and force of contraction, which can ease the strain on a failing heart or lower blood pressure in those with hypertension. That's it for our lesson today. See you in the next video.